Hello everyone, welcome to Supercode, and today we're going to be teaching you how to make a URL QR code. So these are great for websites, landing pages, and commerce stores, showing off your work, anything you want. So create a new code here in your dashboard. Click URL and next. We'll use Supercode's website here. You can use dynamic or static code. We suggest dynamic as they are editable. Name your code. And choose a folder. You can add a new one or choose an existing folder. Now we're in the design tool. If you want to use branded colors for brand recognition, you can just get a pick extension and take them from your website. So we'll use super code blue. We'll just copy that and paste it here. Leave the pound sign. Make sure your colors contrast. The advanced edge option allows you to make three different shape and colored corners. We'll make all of them the same, so I'll just use the basic option to save time. And I'll take a couple more colors from our website. In the frame, this is where you can leave a message if you want and choose a color. We'll just use that same red orange color. Here you can say Supercode website so people know what to expect when they scan. Change the size. You can use no frame or different options. Now click the logo toggle. You can leave the code as is or put an emoji. If you hit the plus sign, you could upload a logo immediately for brand recognition. Now click save when you're finished. If you click save before, you can just go back in and modify your design later. You can modify the design of any code, but not the content of static QR codes. So download your code from here. You have three different options. Make sure you do a test scan before printing. And there's our final code. So if you need any more help with tips and tricks, check out our 50 do's and don'ts downloadable on our homepage at supercode.com. And make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials about how to make the perfect QR code. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section, and we'll do our best to get to each one. We'll see you in the next tutorial.